What's up you guys, it's Lloyd here with The Single Guy and I got a question, pretty decent one, from this guy, I think his name's Alex, A-L-X. It's taken me forever to get to this question. But anyway, he says, uh, Hi Lloyd, I've been watching your channel for quite some time now. I've watched all of your videos and you know, I think you're doing a great job. Thank you. Okay, he says, most of the time you talk about picking up girls or approaching them when you're out slash one-time acquaintances. What about covering this topic, trying to ask girls out you meet more regularly? Example, I have a small sports injury and my physiotherapist is a girl at my age, mid-twenties, who I see once a week for treatment for an extended period of time. We get along pretty well, we chat and per about personal stuff, hobbies. Uh, in those environments, the girl is basically forced to be nice, especially if you find yourself in the position of a regular customer. So the question is, when nice manners, proximity, or even in my case, body contact and so forth are inherent to the circumstances. How do you distinguish between her being nice, her doing her job, um, how do you, appropriateness, how should you make a move, keep in mind that it could get awkward in future if she says no, because you're a paying customer, and says, does the date play an important role or just ask up front? Okay, uh, for sure, don't just ask out up front. Uh, she's gonna say no <laughs> if you do that. You gotta be a little more sly about this because she's for sure thought about like uh, the dating patients thing. She probably has a policy, or at least in her mind she does, where she's not gonna do it. Um, I'd say for a physiotherapist, I've been in these positions before, I would say most of the time, it's probably not gonna happen. Um, I'm just saying, I'm just being frank with you, man. She sees a, she sees a lot of patients. She sees a lot of patients around her age. Um, and just cause she's making conversation with you doesn't mean she's actually interested in you. But how do you actually tell if this physiotherapist is interested in you? Well, you start talking about certain topics that aren't associated with work. Now you talk about your hobbies, you talk about stuff that you do. These are general things that I talk about with you know, if I'm, uh, you know, I've seen physical therapists for tons of sports injuries that I've had, um, and those are the types of topics that we talk about. Uh, I have actually, <laughs> I did hook up with one of my physical therapists. Uh, it was, it was actually r right after college. Um, she, I was seeing her about because I have chronic injuries with my, uh, with my hips. My hips are all fucked up. From playing soccer and so i saw this lady about like you know once every other week or something like that sometimes she would be in sometimes she wouldn't and uh, i ended up seeing her at a party um we made out and she was like oh i can't do this and i'm like why not and she's like oh can i got work and i'm like oh, okay whatever it's fine um so it, nothing ended up coming of it but the, i have been in circumstances where i've seen people regularly and it has worked out and the way it worked out is because we started talking about topics that most people don't normally talk about, okay? Uh, we talk about what you're doing later, talk about like secret, like risque things that she you know, isn't gonna tell her parents and definitely isn't gonna tell her coworkers. Uh, those kinds of conversations are a lot more intimate and they're probably gonna be more or less, um, they're probably gonna be better uh, for, for your chances. If, if a girl's engaging with you in those types of conversations, it's probably gonna be better for you. However, if you're talking about like, oh, like, you know, dating and relationships and things like that, it kind of depends how it's going, but in general, I'd say um, that that's not always an indicator of interest either, okay? So the way I would go about doing this is, you the only way that you're gonna know if she's like really truly interested in you is if you see her behaving more towards you than she does to her other patients. And the problem is you're not seeing how she behaves towards her other patients. She's, she's probably being friendly with them too. So the biggest test is if she actually comes out with you, okay? Um, or if she meets up with you, or if she gives you her phone number or something like that. Okay, now you got now how do you ask for this? Okay, well, that's gonna be kind of tricky. You probably, she's probably giving you her card. She's probably done this or something like that. Um, what you should do the next time you're at the physical therapist appointment is give her a reason to want to contact you or give yourself a reason to want to contact her. Maybe you talk about some event that you're going to. Maybe you both find out you guys like salsa dancing. Oh, cool. Well, there's this cool place that they do salsa dancing on Friday nights and they have salsa Fridays. So you should come to that. Okay, now you have a reason to text her, okay? You text her, she shows up to Salsa Fridays, she's spending a lot of time with you, she's, you know, smiling, paying attention to you. Now you know she's actually into you, okay? 
but if she doesn't show up, she doesn't want to come, or if she does show up and she's not really paying much more attention to you than she is paying attention to other people, like maybe she's talking to other dudes, or maybe she's like hanging out with some of the girls there and like the teacher and stuff. Okay, well, she's probably not really into you in that way. The reason why I say you should invite her to like an event or invite her to something where you both discuss and it's like a similar interest, or maybe it's like, sounds just sounds like something fun that she'd be interested in. Like maybe you and your friends are going to like, uh, a premiere or um, a party or something like that that you think would be cool for her to join. It doesn't put that much pressure on her to feel like it's a date. If she feels like it's a date, she's not showing up, especially if you're her patient, dude. Okay, women in general don't even like dates that much. Like the formal date, like sitting at a dinner table, <laughs> you know, that's it's, it's pretty awkward for them. Uh, it puts a lot of pressure on them and they just get way too nervous and it ends up usually not working. Um, but especially in these cases, if you're seeing that girl regularly, if she shows up, she wants to know that she has a way out without it being super awkward. And that gives her the perfect way out. So this is what I would do. I would ask her, you know, what she's up to over the weekend. She's like, oh, I don't know. Like, you know, I'm just going to watch TV or blah, blah, blah. Okay. If she says she's doing stuff with her boyfriend, obviously don't hit on her. <laughs> you know, it's done. She's seen someone. Um, but if she's never mentions anything about boyfriends, she never mentions any of that sort of stuff, and you've asked her, you know, a lot of questions about her activities and, you know, what she's doing, she's probably going to be doing something with her boyfriend at some point, probably going to bring that up. Uh, if she never does, there's a good chance she doesn't have a boyfriend, so you might be good to go in that case. Uh, and then she asks, okay, well, what are you up to? And then you can describe something that, oh, you mean my friends are going to this. And then you say, oh, you'd love this. We're going to this like cool salsa night. They have this, uh, remember you said you liked the salsa? Well, they do this thing called Salsa Fridays and it's really cool. Like they, play, they have a little disco ball. <laughs> I don't know why they have a disco ball. It's a salsa place. Uh, they put on good music. They can put this good last and jazz. Everyone's looking sexy. Um, and so you talk up the event, like it's gonna be this really super fun thing. And that way, when you invite invite her to it, it's more about the event and less about her spending time with you. That's going to take a lot of the pressure off of her and you'll see how she behaves. If she, if she shows up, which if she does, you know, that's a great sign. If she doesn't, you know, not the best sign. If she shows up and she's paying a lot of attention to you and she's making good eye contact and she's having a great time smiling, all of that stuff, that's really good. Obviously she's into you, but if she's not, if she's paying attention to everybody else the same way she's paying attention to you. She's probably not that interested in you um, and you know maybe invite her out to some other event if you really want to but I would just probably leave it at that honestly okay um, physical therapists this is a position where or it's like a massage therapist these are positions where girls get hit on a lot because it's kind of like an intimate environment between two people but it's a business one and she probably gets hit on a lot by guys there. So you're not the only person. And if you're going for these types of women, like you feel like, oh, I really feel like I have a shot with this girl, or I really feel like she likes me, you're probably in scarcity, meaning you don't have a whole lot of options right now. And so you're going for the one who's obligated to be with you at that point. And in this case, it's your physical therapist. So I would recommend going out a lot, do the things that I said, see if she'll come out to that event that you invite her to. But other than that, dude, I really think that you've gotta be making other areas of your life filled with women that you can go on dates with because it sounds like you don't have a whole lot of options right now. And you're going for this girl because she's convenient and she's there. So uh, that'd be my advice for you, man. Uh, good luck to you. Hopefully this answers your question. Uh, if you guys made it to the end, consider subscribing. And if you had a situation where you were seeing a girl regularly, maybe it was like a physical therapist, maybe it was a masseuse, maybe it was, uh, I don't know, some, some other type of relationship that you had and you were able to swing that in, into a date, into actually being able to see the person and sleeping with her and maybe even starting a relationship, please put it in the comment section below. I'd love to hear it, guys. Thanks a lot. Good luck out there.